y'all. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys my grocery haul, share with you my meal plan, and then later on I'll show you just a couple of the meals from the meal plan. This will probably be for a very long time, I'm going to say for sure. Hopefully forever. I don't know if I'll ever have another grocery haul like this. I'm working really, really hard on cooking from scratch freezing stuff in bulk, making my own stuff rather than going and buying a bunch of stuff with preservatives in it. Seeing all these groceries really have me thinking and I'm trying to reevaluate how I want to feed my family. So moving forward, I won't ever, I'm not saying I'm never going to buy a Fudron, <laughs> but going forward I do want to be more mindful about not necessarily the uh, sugar intake and stuff yet. I'm not there yet, but as far as preservatives and money wise, economically, I can make so many things from scratch that I pay a fortune for at the store and it has a ton of preservatives from the store. So I don't know if I'll ever do another grocery haul like this. I'm hoping I won't anyway. I got big plans. I always have big plans though. <laughs> you guys know I'm an all in or all out kind of person and I really want to be all in on this. So let me share with you guys my grocery haul, my pantry stock up, and my meal plan. Shane just got home with the groceries, so after he gets to the grocery haul, I'll go over the meal plan with you. Sorry. You, you look so pretty. You, pretty. you flinched. Why'd you flinch? Shane, take it away. Come on. I just got back from getting a uh, pickup, grocery pickup. We haven't done that in forever, have we, Rain? No, and we had to create a Walmart account for Christmas presents, so we thought we'd give it a chance, and I'm already mad at him. Yeah, uh, apparently Walmart pickup has changed some of its, what would you call it? Uh, now, it, they used to give you courtesy stuff, so you would get the substituted item for the money that you paid for the item that you wanted to buy. Yeah. Now, they charge you for the price of the item that you get, period. Yeah. The thing I can understand is, I'm sure that other was probably really costly. Um, but the thing... <laughs> what are you saying, like... They just decide to put whatever in your cart, yeah. and then you pay for it. I mean, I guess, you know, you, you they do give you the option to review stuff before, but still. Anyway, let's take a look and see what we got here. Right here, we've got some Tyson chicken patties. Rena was talking about making some chicken sandwiches soon, and I'm down for that. I've actually been craving those here lately. We got us some of this cheese ravioli. What, what are you making with this? Heck yeah. I'm down for that. We had lasagna the other night, but it was nowhere near as good as yours. Yeah. Um, we've got some shredded hash browns, which I'm thinking hash brown casserole. Nope. Nope. That's a taco casserole. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need to toss this. Alright, we got rid of it. Alright, we've got some chocolate croissants. Cool. I don't know what those are. Why do they look like little sausage biscuits on the picture? <laughs> anyway. I them while I was checking out. I'm throwing stuff. Okay, we got some pepperoni pizza rolls. Uh, we discovered this not too long ago that the great value pizza rolls are so much better tasting. We've got black forest ham for some sandwiches. And oven roasted turkey breast. We've got the king of snack items, pepperoni hot pockets. Hot pockets. And we got some mini corn dogs. Hopefully these taste better than those. Oh, we, we had those corn dogs that the kids had been eating, and me and Rena ate them the other day, and they tasted like butt. But here's corn dogs. We got two boxes of garlic bread sticks. Love these things. I'm sure we'll probably eat those with the lasagna. We've got some Dean's French onion dip. We've got some regular yellow cheese. And then we've got some white cheese. I love the white cheese. Uh, right here we've got two boxes of salted butter. Here we got a nice, I'm telling you what, these hams taste so good, it ain't even funny. Well, I think I only one. Uh, did you order more than one? I ordered three. Did we pay for three? I don't know. I'll have to look at the... Ha, <laughs> we got some breast tenderloins. We got this thing of 
original potato chips, which, man, they seem to be putting more air in these things now. Like, the chips are here. And it's a party size. Yeah, that ain't gonna feed a party. We've got four bags of Funyuns. Got a box of crackers that have peanut butter crackers, cheddar cheese crackers, and peanut butter and cheese crackers. Down here, we got some Fig Newtons. I haven't had those in a long time. We've got some mini donuts, some honey buns. We got the fun pack. And it's got a bunch of different things in here. Right here, we got, hey, are these uh, tortilla chip dippers for that recipe too? No. You sure? Yes. You positive? Because yes. they gonna get thrown. We've got some Ritz Handy Snacks crackers. We've got some Chessman Butter Distinctive Cookies. What is a distinctive cookie? I don't know. It's got a horse on it. That's distinctive. <laughs> okay. I ordered the Christmas version, but they didn't give me it. Okay. We've got these animal crackers, and look at these animals. They look like they're about to drop the sickest mixtape of 2022. They rolling out there like they own the Pride Lands. Let me tell you what. We've got some fudge rounds. We've got some spaghetti. We've got some corn on the cob here. Looks like we've got three bags of hamburger buns along with two bags of bread. Hey, is this original taco seasoning for that recipe? We've got some Italian dressing. We've got cheddar cheese soup. Is this queso blanco? Shame. Is it part of it? Is it? No. Let's see. We've got four uh, cans of green beans. That's part of it. This is? All right, we got, I don't know, but they got thrown. We got Prego meat sauce. I'm not really throwing this stuff, by the way. It's just sitting over here. Uh, we've got, oh, you know it. Say it loud. Say it proud. Hashtag Tudor Nation. Right here, we got some little baby halos. We have a cantaloupe, a watermelon, a pepper, bananas, Caesar salad? I don't know why I did it in that voice, but we also got some milk, we got some tea, and we got some tempico. We got two bags of Ims dog food, some paper towel, oh, toilet paper and paper towels, and microfiber towels, which I refuse to touch because that stuff hurts my sensories really bad. Um, we also down here have a 12 pack of Dr. Peppers that ripped on me. Um, yeah, this ripped on me, so I think three of them died. So it turned into a nine pack. And then we got this big old thing of waters. So anyway, there you are. I just graced you with my presents. Merry Christmas. I'm gonna turn it back over to my lovely wife and I'll see you guys later. How in the there is the king that used to know. He's rearranging. Can you hear the vocals? Mm -hmm. I'm going all the way. I
baby girl. That cucumber is molded. Is it really? On the right. Ew! I didn't even notice that. That's how bad the tension I'm paying. <laughs> It's ham, French dip, and turkey. Alright, hand me the oranges. I need to get rid of some of these cheeses, so look for a bunch of recipes that have cheese in them because they're sharp cheddar, there's provolone and mozzarella blend, there's mozzarella, there's Mexi Melt, sharp cheddar. <laughs> Another sharp cheddar. A parmesan. A pepper jack. A Monterey jack. And a mo another mozzarella. So I need to get those taken care of ASAP. I'm gonna put the bacon bits in here with the cream cheese too. Alright, down here we're gonna do meats and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this chicken in there too because I'm we're gonna plan on eating this within the next few days. If I wasn't planning on eating it within the next few days, I'd freeze this. Put it in a freezer bag and freeze it up. And then I'm going to rotate like the grocery stores do. Who'd you learn that from? Shane. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to put that note back there. Shane worked at Walmart whenever I first met him. And his biggest pet peeve is when stores don't rotate. I'm gonna put the Tampico back here and this one in front so we can finish that one off. I have to take care of this big old roll of meat. I'm going to take the egg that I have left and put it in this clear container here. I'm going to do this because it'll give me like a uh, visual of how many eggs I have left because I'm constantly forgetting to buy eggs because I think I have more than I actually have. I should have bought eggs this go around but I thought I had more than this. I wish we were allowed to have chickens in the trailer park. That'd save me a lot of money on eggs. This is Shane's barbecue pizza he wanted to try on Clarence, but never tried it. I forgot about it. No! Is it dead? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to put the ham and turkey right here beside the eggs. And then I'm going to move these cheeses down to the cheese drawer. I'm going to pull this meat out for the dog's dog food. Stick this apple juice there. I've got this thing of butter back here. I keep forgetting I have it. Um, I got heavy whipping cream, half and half. And then I'm gonna do the buttermilk behind it because I still got a few more days to use it up. This needs to go down to the cheese drawer. I'm gonna put French onion dip there. And then I'm gonna have the kiddos put some waters in here so that we can have cool waters in the water bottles and cool water in the fridge. Some of the kiddos don't like drinking out of the fridge thing, which I don't know why we changed the filter and everything. I mean, they're not gonna get worms, but Colton particularly likes water bottles. So I'm gonna have him put some in here for him so that when he wants a water bottle, it'll be cold for him. Didn't you know the best kind of water is the kind that they make in the factory? Now, I gotta go through the freezer, which I'm gonna do very quickly because a lot of this is freezer burnt and um, old ice cream that you can't even, like it's like an ice sculpture at this point. So I'm gonna go through and empty this out and fill it up with the new stuff. <laughs> These are dandelions given to us by Jolie. I freeze everything. Y'all remember last year when I froze the talkie that one of the neighborhood kids gave me? It's still in the back here. Here's a rose frozen that Shane gave me. Yep. Oh my gosh, I have more cheese. I forgot I froze cheese. So in here, I try to keep, uh, in here, I try to keep, oh look, here's another rose Shane gave me. I try to keep like the frozen stuff, like frozen meats and stuff for dinners and meals in here, but a lot of times the kids will put stuff back. I'm gonna put this frozen cheese back in here because that's where I store stuff like that. These go over there. Stuff like frozen sausage, frozen sausage, pat sausage patties I keep over here. We got a bunch of frozen vegetables I'm gonna put up here. Frozen fruit. And this was on 926, so I need to eat that up soon. I think all these were from 926, yeah. 
freezer stuff frozen meat that has been bagged up that I need to get through um, frozen meat too down there as well as some dessert frozen stuff frozen vegetables and fruits ice cream ice packs and things for the ice shaver machine um, keepsakes more ice cream condiments water area random stuff like half and half cream uh, dairy stuff in the back and then dip and butter up here Eggs, sandwich meat, a random can of biscuits, juices, milks, and teas, cheese drawer that is completely overflowing, and meat for the week that isn't in the freezer. Butter, butter, butter. I keep all of my produce in the door now because one of you guys, actually a couple of you guys, told me that this is the best way to not waste produce, which y'all seen that the state of my cucumbers that was stored in the bottom down there. I think Shane or one of the kids put them down there. Anytime I stock the fridge, I try to put it in the door. That way I can see what I have, I can see when it goes out, and then nothing gets wasted. So I got onions, celery, salad, bell pepper, clementines, and flour so we don't get worms. You guys have probably already seen in a previous video the frozen pancakes and cookies video that I was freezing the pancakes in this deep freezer. Kept them on flexible cutting mats until they were frozen and then I just transferred them all over to this bacon sheet and it was easier to transfer over to where I needed to bag them up. Wanted to clarify that in case somebody hasn't seen that video and they're just wondering why I'm pulling out these random pancakes out of my freezer. I'm gonna show you guys what's left in the snack bin from our last grocery hauls and then we're gonna fill it up. These have been in here for, for what, seven, six, seven months at this point. We did eat through about half of them, but these are still lingering around. I'm trying to push them. I've been encouraging them to eat them, but if I'm being honest, I'm foundered on them. I don't even really want them, to be honest. Down here we have a ton of oatmeal left because we apparently don't like oatmeal that much. And over here we got some caramel dips left over. Next time I do a pantry stock up and fridge restock, I definitely want to clean out these bins and the refrigerator. I noticed how dirty the refrigerator was while editing this, and I'm noticing how it's crumbs and stuff in these drawers and stuff. So then probably next week when I do another pantry restock and fridge restock, I'll go in and I'll individually clean all of these and give my fridge a good clean down.
Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special. Cause I'm hoping for that we'll fall in love in this wind. sure if I'm going to make this cart a homeschooling cart again because that's what it was originally doing for us. It was holding all of our homeschool stuff in it and then I transferred it over to snacks when I started doing pantry restocks because it was just easily accessible to the kids. They could walk over here, grab what they want. I can move it around. It was really mobile so it worked really good for that. I don't know quite what I'm going to do with it though after I kind of transform our snack situation like I was telling you guys about in the beginning of the video. I, I don't want to go this hard on snacks ever again and I want to do a lot of our snacky stuff sweet stuff made from scratch by me so I don't really know what I'm going to end up doing with this but I'm sure I'm going to find something most of the stuff like pantry items dry goods and stuff canned goods go in that sucker but I keep this so they're just easily accessible for the kiddos this cart has been through the ringer it's been a homeschool car and then more recently well I guess in last year it turned into the snack cart and it just it it keeps it easy for when the kiddos are hungry and they want to just come grab a snack and it also gives me a visual as to what we're lacking what we eat through fast what we don't eat through fast it gives me a visual so I really like it and it's mobile I can move it around because it's on wheels This is my handy dandy meal plan book. I try to remember to use this thing as often as possible because it makes my life so much easier. I am very, very, very forgetful. And it is not unlike me to make a meal plan in my mind on Monday and forget every single meal I put on it by Tuesday. So this thing makes my life easier and it keeps me on track. I also never go in line. So when I put something on Monday, it doesn't mean we are locked in and tied to eating that thing on Monday. I just think of the days of the week as numbers. So it's like numbers mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meals that I can pick from that morning. So I'll look at this in the morning. And I'll be like, this is what I'm feeling today. Or this is what one of the kids asked for. This is what Shane mentioned that he wanted. Easy peasy lasagna is one that I know we're having. It's basically, uh, it's basically ravioli. It's super good though. I got it out of a Prego recipe book that I found at Ollie's. And along with that, we're gonna have salad and we're gonna have some garlic bread. Coming in hot with another pasta recipe, we're doing spaghetti and garlic bread one night and it leftover salad if there's any. Usually there's not though, cause we tear through one of those Caesar salad kits super fast. We're going to do ham steaks and crock pot green beans and potatoes one night. I've been craving green beans and potatoes so bad. So we're going to do that one night. Probably put some corn in there too. Like do not eat, not in the crock pot green beans and potatoes, but just corn uh, as another side. Then we're having Shane's taco casserole that he's looking so forward to <laughs> as y'all probably heard <laughs> we're doing taco casserole and i don't really know what else to put with that i do have some sour cream that i'm gonna probably top mine with but then i got some tortilla chips and some queso to go on the side too i just don't really know what good sides are for like mexican i know that this probably isn't authentic mexican food um but like taco-y kind of food i don't really know what to put as a side so if anybody wants any we can have some queso and tortilla chips my handwriting is whack right now because i like my motor skills are still flipping pancakes at this point we're gonna do chicken sandwiches uh on an easy night probably on um i say uh tuesday or wednesday because tuesday or wednesday we're doing a core learning subject and that's whenever we go deep into story of the world our history curriculum we focus on that more so than we do any of the other days of the week and we kind of hunt out resources that go along with whatever we're learning in story of the world so like we'll do a lot of documentaries we'll check out books from the library we'll read article well colton will read articles on the internet and do essays on it like short essays those are our busy busy days when it comes to school so we'll probably do chicken sandwiches on either tuesday or wednesday and then we'll do fries we'll do fries as a side too because i found some fries in the back of the freezer chicken tenders in this uh 
coating stuff that I got. I found at Walmart the other day when I was in there. We're gonna do chicken tenders, mashed taters. Oh, wait, no. We won't do mashed taters because I found this crock pot bay, old bay recipe with potatoes and corn. And I want to try that, so we'll do that. Obey potatoes and corn. And I can't for the life of me remember. <laughs> I told you guys, I just made the meal plan this morning. I can't for the life of me remember what I got on the seventh meal. So we're probably going to make that a fin for yourself. And I do have four small kids, so it's never really a fin for yourself. It's more so of a mama fins for you. <laughs> so I'll just come up with something random and sometimes it's grilled cheeses. Sometimes it's club sandwiches with like turkey, cheese, like on a regular sandwich, but toasted bread and like some bacon on there. Hamburger helper, stuff like that. Stuff that's easy that I can just throw together. And then over here for breakfast ideas, we have the pancakes that we've made today. And then I also have eggs and bacon. And then we have that oatmeal that really needs to get eaten up. I'd like to make some homemade biscuits and freeze those. But last time I made homemade biscuits, they turned out like hockey pucks. So I'm not that confident in that yet. But I am pretty happy that my cookies and my pancakes came out as good as they did today. I'm, I'm shocked, actually. Lunch ideas, we're doing sandwiches. Um, that could be turkey, ham, grilled cheese. Uh, whatever kind of sandwich that they're wanting. Pizza rolls. Hot pockets. I'm sorry if it's wild in the background. That's just my house, y'all. <laughs> Does it make you feel like you're actually here with me? That's what I go for. I want you to actually feel like you're here with me. And this is stuff that you would hear in the background while you were sitting with me here on my couch making my meal plan. Besties. <laughs> I also have extra chicken patties in case we want to do chicken sandwiches. And then I also have the corn dog bites too. But sometimes my kiddos will just make a bowl of cereal for lunch. It just depends on what they want. Don't need the shopping list. I never use that because there's not enough room for me to put all of my groceries on there. So this is what it's looking like. Easy peasy lasagna salad and garlic, spaghetti and garlic, ham steaks with crock pot green beans and potatoes and some corn on the cob, taco casserole with some queso and tortilla chips as a side, chicken sandwiches and fries, Chicken tenders and crock pot old bay potatoes and corn that I found on Pinterest. And then this is Finn, Mama Fins for you. It'll be like hamburger helper grilled cheese, something like that. And then over here for breakfast, the pancakes that we made today should do us for, I'd say the next two weeks at least. All of my groceries today should do for the next two, two and a half weeks. Pushing it to three, I could probably honestly get three weeks out of what I have in my house right now. So that's what I'm going to push it for. It definitely won't last a month though. But we got pancakes, eggs and bacon, and then the oatmeal. I'm really, 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 really going to try to get that out of here soon. And then over here at lunch, we got sandwiches, pizza rolls, hot pockets, chicken sandwiches, and corn dog bites. Voila! We're making spaghetti tonight. I just spent... Uh, it is 5.56 right now, so I started editing at 8.30 this morning. 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 12 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5 to 6. So I spent 10 hours <laughs> editing a daggone freezing bacon video. <laughs> I had some help over here getting dinner started. Noodles are already in the pot of boiling, and the hamburger meat is already browned. I don't know why they didn't use my little star hamburger meat gadget, but I guess they wanted to use the spatula instead, which I'm not complaining. It probably is also better for the stoneware. My spaghetti recipe is easy. It is a mix between Shane's mom's spaghetti recipe and an easy recipe. So over the years, we started out making it like Shane's mom because I went over to his house one time and it smelled Devon in her house. And I was like, I gotta know how to make that. So like as a teenager, Shane was teaching me how to make his mom's spaghetti. Over the years, over the last 13 years, it's kind of gradually uh, went from her recipe to hers mixed with a little bit of mine thrown in there. It's changed over time. Brown up the hamburger meat. We only use Prego sauce in this house unless we just, it's just absolutely necessary to use something else. A prego all the way over here. Don't come at me with the ragu. I know last time I said prego was the way to go. I had a lot of ragu fanatics, I'm just kidding, <laughs> supporters in the comments. And I don't want to hear it. 
prego all the way. I'm gonna drain this hamburger meat. Uh, it has a lot of moisture in there. I think it's because it was frozen. I think it's because it was frozen and it while it thawed out, it just gained a lot of moisture. I'm gonna drain it. And I'll show you how we make our spaghetti. Super fast, super easy. We're having it paired with garlic breadsticks and some Caesar salad. Because I had helpers with this, I didn't want them to do any cutting or anything. Usually I go ahead, I cut an onion and I have the onion cooking before I even add the ground beef. But I didn't want them cutting anything or anything like that. So I'm just gonna add the onion now as I add the green bell pepper. Yes, you heard me right, green bell pepper. Know why I just decided to cut this onion in the most awkward way for y'all. <laughs> I'm about to say I know how to cut an onion. That is a lie. <laughs> I do not. But I know how to cut it better than this. I just woke up and decided to be controversial today, I guess. Because I know this is going to drive somebody out there nuts. <laughs> Not only does this give it flavor, but it also sneaks veggies inside my kids' food. And it also makes it really pretty. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> so we're just gonna plop these in there. As unesthetically as that. <laughs> and we're gonna let this cook. About a pound of hamburger meat and those veggies bulk it up. So now it won't be like little pieces of hamburger meat floating in a bunch of spaghetti sauce. It'll be more bulkier. While that's cooking, I'm also gonna add some Worcestershire tail sauce. This is Worcestershire tail sauce. <laughs> I'm gonna use a generous amount, like so. And let that cook in the meat and the veggies. The spaghetti lava back there splashing all over the countertop is giving me life right now. And for that one person who's gonna say veggies don't belong in spaghetti, don't knock it till you try it. Don't knock it till you try it. If you try it, come back here and yell it to the world, but don't knock it till you try it. I'm the, I think I'm the only YouTuber on this platform who like doesn't eat a lot of vegetables. If we, if my family, can tolerate veggies and spaghetti. I'm just saying. We're on to something. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I had them season the meat when they first put it in here, but we're gonna season the meat a little bit more with some, not onion powder, because we already have enough onions in there. Some garlic powder, wherever that may be. Oh, where, oh, where has my garlic powder gone? Oh, where, oh, where's my garlic powder gone? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? There we go. Some of this. This Hobby Lobby soundtrack is cracking me up. Does it not sound like somebody's gonna break in any minute and say, Currently, all wreaths and trees are 60% off only at Hobby Lobby. And since we bulked it up, I'm only gonna use half of this big old jar of Prego for this recipe, and then the next half will be for the other pasta recipe we're doing this week, which is the Easy Peasy Lasagna. So we're getting two meals out of the sucker. Oh man, that smells good. You didn't send me no onions! <laughs> Wait, are these good? Nineties? Mm -hmm. You can if you want to. You can't kill me, right? No. Now my actual words are... I just like... squatted myself in the forehead. Oh. Alright, now is where it gets a little weird for some of y'all, but we're gonna do a little bit of sugar. Sorry if you hear Shane in the background, we're talking about conspiracy theories right now. <laughs> just a little bit though. Not a whole lot or it's gonna be candied spaghetti. I mean, which don't sound like a bad thing. And as always, I'm showing you Shane's plate because he's God's favorite and he can eat all this without gaining any weight. I'm just kidding. God doesn't have favorites. But he can eat all this without gaining weight. And if I ate this, they'd have to pry me through the door to get me out the house. Nothing to see here today. We're just doing some chicken patties and some sweet potato fries. 
I'll check back in when I have something more exciting. <laughs> and when I say chicken patties, I don't mean just actual patties laying out there. I mean like chicken patties on buns. So like chicken sandwiches and sweet potato fries. So can't nobody say I ain't trying to be healthy. Cause I'm sure they're processed. But Marina a year ago would have never stuck a sweet tater fry in her mouth, period. <laughs> but process this. They're delicious. Kids eat them, they really love them. So if they like them, I'm gonna cook them however often I need to to get them some sweet taters in them systems. In them systems. In them systems. Yes. <laughs> That's some Tennessee talk. <laughs> And Marina and all her memory glory right now. I'm making the faux lasagna, I guess. That's not what we should call it, but that's what I call it. It's the faux lasagna, the easy peasy lasagna. All that is blaring in the background. I'm trying to introduce my kids to the 90s. They watch mostly 90s stuff anyway, but I'm trying to introduce them to stuff that they haven't watched from the 90s, so that's blaring. I got the recipe out of this little sucker right here. I found this at Ollie's for a steal and it has so many good prego recipes in here and y'all know how I love prego. Super easy, it gets you full, it feeds a lot. Let me show you how I make it. My favorite thing to use in this recipe is the mild Italian sausage ground up like this, but you could use ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey if you can stomach stuff like that. I can't imagine a turkey or a chicken getting grounded for some reason. I wasn't raised up on that, so it's foreign to me. <laughs> so I can't take that, but I do love the sausage with it. I just brown up the sausage really good, make sure it's well broken apart, kind of burnt like you see here. Then I add the prego sauce. This was half of the jar that I didn't use in our spaghetti a few days prior. These are my favorite, favorite raviolis, the Great Value Cheese Ravioli. They are phenomenal. What I do is I just take the sauce mixture that we made and I put it on the bottom. I layer the raviolis and I layer them in like a thin straight line and only leaving the doubled ones that are frozen together that I can't pry apart together. Don't break your fingers by trying to pry them apart because they, they cook just fine if they're doubled up like that. It's just you want them in a straight line because you're going to be layering this. I layer the hamburger sauce, then the ravioli, some more hamburger sauce so that it keeps the ravioli soft. If you don't put enough hamburger and spaghetti sauce it'll get hard around the ravioli and they're not as good i put some cheese usually i use mozzarella but all i had was this provolone and mozzarella the other two mozzarellas you saw in the fridge i quickly found out were expired <laughs> so i had to use provolone and mozzarella and i just continued layer it layering it on top of the cheese i put the ravioli then i put the meat sauce and then i put the cheese all the way up to the top of the casserole dish You can literally throw this thing together in a matter of minutes. It's so easy. I just cover it and cook it on 400 degrees for about 45 minutes and it comes out perfect every single time. This is one of my most favorite meals that we make and it's almost always on our meal plan. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope you have a blessed morning, even not whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later.